A lot of people ask me, uh, like, hey, when you get enlightened, uh, do you still have friends? And it's, uh, the answer is yeah. So, like, everyone who was your friend is still your friend, if they really are your friend, you know? It's like, people, people like you for you. And when you're enlightened, the do you that you are doesn't change. Um, you're still the same. You're still the same person. You're just a little bit more free. You're a little bit happier. You know, you suffer less. Uh, all that good stuff. And everyone that you previously knew still knows you. Um, so the reason this conception comes up, I think, is, is twofold. The first is, like, people think that, like, if they don't have an observer on their perceptions, like, they're a different person. It's not really the case. There's never been an observer in your perceptions. It's always been uh, just, just the, like, realizing that there's no self isn't losing a self. It's seeing that there never has been one. And the second part of it is, like, when you get enlightened, you get a lot of, uh, you know, you get a lot of a lot of power. You become more powerful in a lot of different ways, like socially, uh, independently. Um, you know, you become a lot more free. And for people who don't like freedom and power, um, you're going to be quite intimidating. And also, generally, people you hang out with are going to have like, <laughs> you know, their sense of self obliterated. So, you know, hanging out with most of the time with people who like that kind of thing. It's quite useful. People who are quite scared of that thing um, will maybe react differently. But I think your friends stay your friends. At least they have for me. Bye.